Hello viewers, welcome to .NET Tech channel. Today I will show you SP.NET Core application for drop down list data demo. So our data source will be MS SQL Server. So let me show you our today's discussion topic. So drop down list in SP.NET Core MBC. Data source is MS SQL uh, using .NET 6 SDK. So I will first create a project, install dependencies. So for data connection, uh, we'll use Entity Framework Core, code first, then DB connection, uh, we'll create two models like department and sub-department sub uh, so that we can load data in the drop-down department name and sub-department names. Later, we'll migrate data uh, prepare demo data uh, let's say some department name and some sub department name create generic service generic service uh, will create a service we just uh, uh, pass the table name as a parameter then automatically you will get id and name for drop down for drop down list uh, later we'll get data and show the drop down data so this is the summary so let me create project first before creating project first uh, uh, let me align you all the things i am uh, showing from my uh, mac os uh, using vs code and for database uh, i have used uh, docker ms sql server you can uh, run this project from uh, visual studio as well in windows environment uh, i will after the uh, video tutorial i will share the source enter source code so no no issue about the uh, mac or windows you can run this project from vs code and using terminal also you can run this project uh, visually studio uh, just uh, uh, run the project so let me create the project so here is the visual studio uh, So project has been created successfully. Uh, let me open the project and run the project just for basic structure. Uh, .NET Framework, uh, once you create the MVC project, just uh, the default structure we can see. So let me show you the default project structure. So I have already opened the mbc project here is the controller model and view as well if we run this project we just see the basic uh, template of dotnet 6 mbc web application so let me build and run the project Build success. Dot net RAM. This is just for security. If 
five trade six hour port trades. Yes. So we have just create a simple project and build and run the project. So let me install the dependencies for DB connection. Uh, as we men as I mentioned earlier, we will use Entity Framework Core. So let me install one by one all dependencies. So all uh, dependency installation success. Uh, I will create uh, the data connection uh, and create the model now. For faster uh, showing the demo, I just copy my existing project and uh, application DB context and the model. So let me fix the error and run the project.
so model preparation and db context are done and build success so i will migrate data now migration also success let me show you in the database table yes our database name is test db as we can see test db has been created uh, here is the table name department uh, personal info sub department let me show you our tv connection as a docker based tv connection test tv yes default connection docker base so our uh, project we have created the project create model create db connection install dependencies and also the migration so our next job is uh, create a service for pool data from sql server So for test data we have to create uh, for demo data I will insert demo data in the SQL server using entity framework core let me 
add the function so that we can see the data added in the drop down list As we created a service, we have to service uh, in the program. this is for dependency injection so service has been created and also we have added uh, in the program for dependency 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 injection so hopefully our program will run successfully without any error and we can get the data like two uh, drop down list like department DDL and sub department uh, here is the function get common data common DDL data just we have passed the table name so go to the definition go to the implementation so here is the generic uh, function string is a table name so I just write SQL query uh, using uh, entity framework you can write SQL query and pass the Entity framework from SQL raw and return like uh, ID and name. So, if you are uh, table have a field like ID and name, you just uh, pull uh, data using this uh, generic uh, function. But uh, if you table not uh, like uh, ID and names, it can be ID and user list or something else, then you have to write. Uh, specific function for get drop down get uh, get drop down list data so let me build and run the project now If we run this project, uh, it will just create a demo data. For front end, we have to add some uh, drop down on the regular base so that we can see the front down from the front end. yes our project runs successfully if we go to the database and if we select the department test db mm, select all for department see we can see we have created five uh, row as a de uh, demo data id name also the f also is same will be the sub department anyways uh, let me add the front end so that we can check from the application uh, here is the view home view in the index space uh, index space i will add to different drop down So I just copy uh, from my 
main project here is to drop down uh, list uh, like department uh, in the view back uh, I have added drop down DDL department let me show you in the controller here is a two view back uh, DDL department DDL sub department in the index packs we can see view back DDL department uh, also we can see DDL sub department so we just uh, get data from the controller and displaying in the view so controller get data using the service and we just pass the department uh, table name with the ID and name for uh, drop down uh, ID and description so if we now run the project we can see the our expected output we have to build the project as we uh, changes and if we run the project project runs successfully if we refresh our current page yes we can see uh, two different uh, drop down lists like department if we click the department then id hr finance and uh, it came from the database see id hr finance and if we select another here is a another drop down list so finally uh, we have a uh, load we have load the drop down data from the sql database uh, so if we summarize our uh, tutorial uh, so what we have learned create a project using terminal uh, you can create project using uh, visual studio uh, as well uh, no issue so then install the dependency nuget packages for entity framework core DV connection is pretty simple then create model I just copy my uh, model from existing project so that we can uh, complete this tutorial uh, tutorial faster then I add migration create a demo data let me show you how I created the demo data in the controller uh, if you go down there is a data preparation and if we go to the seed data here is I have prepared to list department list and sub department list and the home controller I just insert using entity framework code and in the index space if department uh, count zero then it will get so first time it will add in the database no worry about that and also here is uh, I have passed to depart to drop down data in the view back and the index uh, we have load the data So then create generic service so I already explained I just pass the table name and you will get the drop down data so in the uh, real life projects uh, then you you have to uh, handle with uh, multiple drop down list so one function you can get all the drop down list data and finally we get data and drop down list show the drop down list this is the summary so thank you for watching the video hopefully uh, you understand what I try to explain in this tutorials so I will add this project in the github and uh, uh, in the github link I will add the video comments box description section video description section mm, so hopefully uh, everyone enjoy this video please uh, subscribe if you don't subscribe uh, our channel and share your honest feedback so thanks for the thanks thank you for today's hopefully uh, i will add another video in the coming days